Hello, and welcome to my craft room. My name is Laura, and I create DIY crafts for the home over at Heartfilled Spaces. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to upload the 3D paper snowflake patterns in Cricut Design Space and prepare them to cut. There are separate videos available for assembling the snowflakes and using Silhouette Studio. To access those videos, click on the links in the description below. There are also links to gain access to my free library of over 60 files, including one of these snowflakes. If you would like to access all six designs, they are available in the description below as well. Here we are on the canvas of Cricut Design Space, and we're going to go ahead and bring the files in to prepare them to cut. So we're going to scroll over here to the Upload button on the left-hand menu of your canvas, and then we're going to choose Upload Image. Then we're going to choose Browse, and we're going to go ahead and find the 3D Snowflake patterns. These patterns will be wherever you save them to on your computer. Once we've selected the 3D Snowflake patterns, we're going to choose Open. Then we're going to make sure that there's a green box around it. Your most recent uploads will show on the far left side. You click on that until the green box forms around it, and then click add to canvas. Once we've brought it into the canvas, you can't always view everything at once, so you can scroll over here to this percentage box on the left hand lower corner and just hit minus and this will zoom you out until you can see all six snowflake patterns. Right around 50% works well. At this point they're all highlighted but they are grouped together so we're going to go ahead and ungroup them in the layers panel and then you can start clicking on each individual snowflake at a time. We need to change the score lines and you can do that over here on the right hand side in the layers panel. I hold my command key down and then select them all at once. And then you can go over here to operation and where it says basic cut, click on the drop down menu and choose score. So this changed all of our score lines and you can tell they've changed to dashes on each of the snowflakes. And then we can go ahead and just click off of that. And then we need to highlight each particular snowflake with its score lines and attach them. This is very important. If you don't do this step when you go to make your project, your score lines will be separated from the snowflakes. We don't want that. So we're going to just drag your rubber band select tool over each individual snowflake. And if you look over here in the layers panel, it selected both the score line and the snowflake together. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to click attach. And we need to make sure we do this for each snowflake. Three of these snowflakes you'll only need to cut three panels for, and the larger snowflakes, the other three, you'll need to cut four panels for. In order to do this, we're going to go ahead and set it under our Make It um, panel. So for starters, I'm just going to hide the larger snowflakes. You can do that by clicking on it. And so the larger snowflakes are the second one, the third one, and the last one. And you can just follow through with me. So we're going to click on this one and then we're going to hide it. We're going to click on this one and then we're going to hide it and then we're going to click on this last one and we're going to go ahead and hide that one as well. So now we're left with the three smaller size snowflakes and we're going to go ahead and click make it. And this is why that was important. We're only going to cut three panels of each of these snowflakes and when you get here into the make it section of Cricut Design Space you have this option up the top to apply how many copies of each you want to cut. We're going to change this to three and we're going to cl click apply. So it gave us three copies of each panel and that's exactly how we wanted to do this. I'm going to go back up to map one and I'm going to go ahead and click continue. There's two important things you need to know about these snowflakes. They have very detailed patterns in them. And if we don't choose cardstock for intricate cuts, it might not cut all those little pieces and bits all the way through. And we don't want that, that can be a hassle. So you wanna choose cardstock for intricate cuts. And the other very important step is you wanna use a 65 pound cardstock or lighter. And use a light grip mat so that when you go to peel your cardstock off of the mat, you don't have a hard time. It'll still leave your bits behind, but it won't damage your actual snowflake. We're gonna choose 
cardstock for intricate cuts. But if you can't find this, you can go under Browse All Materials. You can go up here and just type in cardstock and then click search and there you see it and then we're going to click done. The next important step is to go ahead and increase your pressure to more. Next step is to load your scoring wheel and then your fine point blade and you're going to walk through each one until they're all cut and then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to cut the larger snowflakes. So here we are back out on our canvas. We've cut the three copies of each of the three smaller snowflakes. And now we're gonna go ahead and unhide those three larger snowflakes. So we're gonna come over here to the layers panel and select that eye that has a line through it until they show up. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rehide these ones that we just cut. So we're left with the three larger snowflake patterns. And the difference between these is the pattern on these larger ones goes closer to the edge of the paper. And so when these are fanned out in that 3D style, they you need the extra panel in there to make the circumference of the snowflake. So that's why these ones are four panels and the other ones are three. They're just, they're a little bit shorter and the design wise, their three panels works for them. But these ones you need four. So once you have these three larger ones selected, you're gonna click make it. And then up here, where it says project copies, you're gonna change this to four. And then you're gonna click apply. And now you're gonna get four of each canvas to cut. And at this point, you're gonna click continue. And again, we're gonna choose cardstock for intricate cuts. Then we're going to increase our pressure. We're gonna load our 65 pound cardstock on a light grip mat and load it into our machine. We're gonna load the scoring wheel and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the go button. And when that's done, we're gonna load our fine point blade and we're gonna hit the go button. And we're gonna walk through all 12 of these panels until they're cut. So here we are at our Cricut machine. You can see that the load paper mat button is flashing because we've sent our file to the machine. And we're gonna go ahead and load in our mat. We're gonna line it up here. Line it up over here, hit the load button. And then the first tool it's gonna be asking for is the scoring tool, which is this tool here. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in the clamp. We're gonna remove our fine point blade. I set it up here a lot of times just so it's quickly available to me. We're gonna load that in there. And we're ready to go. We're gonna hit our Cricut button. Once we're done scoring, we're going to go ahead and remove the scoring tool out of there. We're going to add our fine point blade back into the machine. And then we're going to hit go. Okay, we're gonna unload the machine and then I'll meet you over to assemble them.